People count. You count. And you can count on us to deliver real people stories from around the territory. This is People Count. Hi, welcome to People Count. And today on the show, we have Lieutenant Larry Carmichael from the San Rafael Corps. Hi, Lieutenant. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing real good. Um, I heard that you guys had a shopping spree this last week. We did. Uh, Saturday morning, we got to uh, get up early and head out to one of the three targets in the Marin County area, which the San Rafael Corps services. Um, had 100 kids that were signed up for a back-to-school nice. shopping spree. Uh, and over 90 plus volunteers to help them shop and also help us organize and facilitate all the details that come along with it. Oh, wow. Um, wow, that sounds like there's quite a bit going on. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. So uh, how did the, I know a lot of cores have these, but how did this, uh, how was this an experience for you? Was this the first time or second time doing this or? This is my first time um, as an officer doing this. Uh, oh, wow. When I was as a cadet, I helped the, uh, my summer assignment corps, which was the Colorado Springs Corps, put on a similar event uh, with Sears there in Colorado Springs. Um, so my mind, I uh, remember just a lot of those like specific details. And then having the huge help of the advisory board here, as well as past volunteers saying, I think we did this and there was this and <laughs> Yeah, you know, it just all helped uh, bring those details together and have something that was successful. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah. So, how did the uh, volunteers uh, feel about the uh, shopping spree? Like, how did they? What was the reaction of the people there? You know, the um, I don't know who were more excited, the kids or <laughs> the volunteers. Uh, all the feedback from the volunteers was extremely positive. Um, the I I sent them a thank you note Saturday afternoon along with a link to just a quick survey monkey asking, hey, did you feel appreciated? Did you feel like the event went well? Do you feel like your time was uh, well uh, well used and, and nice. uh, you made an impact with what you did today? And uh, I've had nothing come back except very positive responses. And then one person requesting that we do a slightly better job alphabetizing a particular list. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, we can do that. We can yeah. do that. Yeah. Okay. And then um, now we've been trying to get this going today and uh, you had some time right now, but uh, you were doing something today, which is why it was difficult for us to meet. So yeah. uh, could you elaborate on that for us? So Marin County, uh, it's one of America's wealthiest counties, but alongside anywhere, anywhere that there's good wealth, there also tends to be extreme poverty. poverty. And there's portions of this county that aren't urban at all, but kind of rural and remote and there's not public transportation out to them and in to the main urban area. Mm -hmm. And so today we were able to go out and touch base with four small schools in urban Marin County and give them backpacks for their students that will be needing them. Wow, that's cool. That's, uh, that's dedication there, huh? The, you know, it's, it's a fun opportunity. Uh, uh, as I keep on telling the staff here, we're given resources so that we can reinvest them, not hold on to them. And so we're trying our best to figure out how can we reinvest them, where in our county has been underserved or that we can serve better. And, uh, and so that's what we're doing. And the advisory board is coming right alongside and, and catching that vision as well. Nice, nice. All right. So tell me about the San Rafael Corps. Like what goes on out there? So the San Rafael Corps, or Rafael, it, I don't know why it's not said Rafael, it's spelled that way, but <laughs> uh, it, uh, it's a small corps. It, uh, it hasn't had much going on for a while now, so we're working on relaunching programs right. and getting the Salvation Army's name back out in the community uh, nice. and uh, in focus. Um, the Lord's blessing that in that uh, we continue to see fun, uh, different uh, funders come in and flow in, as well as uh, community partners walk through the door and say, hey, how can we help? Nice. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been a really neat first month here. Uh, oh, seeing wow. what the Lord can do when, uh, when, you know, when he wants. No, definitely. And uh, so, you know, we're looking to relaunch troop programs here in a few months, Home League in a, in a month or so. Right. Uh, we relaunched the adult Bible study just uh, a month ago, and we're up to uh, an average of 10, uh, 10 adults in it every Thursday. Uh, so, yeah, 
it's cool. it's starting. It's getting going. Nice. Uh, and the local news has picked us up. Local newspaper uh, has picked us up twice now and made us front page. So. Oh, that's very cool. Can you, I know it's only been a year, but can you tell me what's been your best, like your favorite experience as an officer this last, uh, last year? That's tough. Uh, you know, I, I love, I love hanging out and interacting with people. Yeah. Uh, you know, so when I was at the Croc Center, uh, I loved taking a Friday evening and just hanging out in the basketball court and watching the kids play basketball and and interacting with the staff that was there, uh, you know, here in San Rafael, I love the 45 minutes after church that we're waiting for the service van to come pick up one of our handicapped members. Hmm. And just the interaction of the core family that happens that's in those moments that are, you know, not programmed, not anything except people wanting to hang out and, and interact. Um, those are the moments that I love. So nice. Well, yeah. Um, I just want to say thank you for coming on the show and I really appreciate the time you were able to take out of your day. Well, thank you. Yeah. It sounds like there's a lot going on out there and, um, yeah, you're doing a great job just kind of getting stuff going. I know, I know it's, um, at times can be tough for officers, you know, but you're doing a great job. Well, uh, glory to God. And I appreciate the encouragement and certainly the whole, whole staff and team and small army of volunteers that are uh, helping bring those pieces together. So Yeah. And I'll just make sure that people know to, um, you know, keep you guys in prayer and that uh, God continues to bless your ministries out there. Amen. All right. You have a good one. You too. God bless. I really hope you guys are inspired by the stories you just heard and that you keep Lieutenant Carmichael and the San Rafael Corps in prayer and that they continue to grow in their ministry as they start up these programs again. It's always hard to start, but it's always a lot of fun to see the results of that. And I hope that you guys will also be inspired by the fact that he went out and gave out backpacks to the community that needed it. If the community can't come to you, then you go to the community. Once again, I want to say thank you for watching People Count. I'm your host, Steve Garcia.